So today's tip is glue application. Now I've been testing this out recently to see what I think of it and I actually really like this uh, technique using a sauce bottle or in this case this is a Wilton candy making bottle but uh, Wilton just adds cost to it so any particular bottle used for sauce, used for sugar artistry, anything like that can be used. The plastics that you want to use are HDPE or high density polyethylene or PP which is polypropylene which is probably the best plastic to use because they're solvent resistant if you're using solvent based contact adhesives which is what I'm using in here. So what I've done is just taken the end there and just cut a diagonal 45 60 degree angle something like that and I can use that to very quickly and simply add a glue line to something. So say I've just skived this piece and I want to add a little bit of glue to it to turn the edge or add it to something else perhaps. I can very simply take the bottle and just very carefully squeeze a little bit out and with a little bit of practice you might find you're a bit rusty first of all. You can be quite precise with it which is what I like. Now there are applications where a spatula is going to be a little bit better or a brush if you really want to push that glue into the fibers for example but for to be honest 90 percent of the work that i've been doing this is fantastic and solvent contact adhesives are great especially for non-porous surfaces the, but the issue is obviously the fumes that come from this if you're not properly ventilated where you're working but one of the benefits of this is it's not an open container, it's just the glue that's exposed has solvent evaporating from it. So it reduces the amount of solvents, which also in turn means that this isn't thickening as much over time because not all the solvent is evaporating every time you open and close the lid. It's only a very small hole in the top, so this stays liquid for longer. So this is my tip today, test it out, see what you think. You can buy these in various sizes. Just remember the plastics that I mentioned, HDPE or polypropylene. There are a few other chemical and solvent resistant plastics out there, but those are the most common that you can actually buy these in. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, comment below and let me know what you think.